Hi, comrades. Love your show. We love you, by the way. Ugh. Recently escaped falling down the Jordan Peterson hole and left you with large leaps of bank. Amazing. Amazing. Babes, this is... Oh. Yeah, this is our mission. Yeah, this like, is our mission. I know we're not the only people on left no. tube, but... Yeah. <laughs> But the fact that you sought out alternative media and have managed to take yourself away from that is like super fucking cool. Huge. Ugh. Right, okay. I'm a cis, uh, I'm a bi cis guy and I've absorbed lots of homophobia, sexism over the years, which I've internalized. But how aren't we all? Uh, I've only hooked up with other, no, that's me saying how aren't we all. That's not the person. Uh, I've only hooked up with other guys and I've never been in an emotionally intimate relationship at all. I often feel inadequate as a man and have anxiety that women won't be attracted to me because I'm too feminine. Many just assume I'm gay. I know this is a problematic mindset, but I'm working on it by dipping my toe into dating girls. As I'm tentative and anxious as fuck about intimacy, I often get cold feet and then feel guilty for basically leading girls only to leave them hanging. Obviously, I've got issues, but how can I explore my sexuality and build my confidence up without being such a waste man? Yeah, I... Uh, I have a little bit of a lack of uh, sympathy with you just uh, with this whole like, hey, I can't decide on my sexuality, so I'm going to fuck over girls. Like, uh, I've been fucked over by those men and like, I don't like it. But my point is, if you want to like explore your sexuality regarding women, you can do that with women who are equally happy to have a one night stand. Yeah. Like, there are lots of women that are into casual dating. Not every woman wants to have a meaningful relationship. So, And this person is like casually, it's just like, yeah, I've definitely led some women on. It's just like. Sure, but at least he's well, acknowledging that and he's, he's looking for help. He's looking to change that and that's what we're here for. Fine, this is where my personal experience <laughs> kind of struggles, like to really empathize with you. Uh, no, because but I, I definitely feel like I have been used like that But sometimes. I definitely empathize with the idea of like wanting to do something casual with someone and then finding yourself falling into a like quite intense dating scenario when you're not ready for that. And you just wanted to kind of like hang out a few times and they, they're sure, like... Sure, but you still have responsibility. Yeah, you have guilt and it sounds like he has guilt, I think, like about leading these girls no, on. Okay, so on the one hand, don't do that. On the other hand, there are plenty of women that just want to do like casual, casual flings, have one night stands, like fuck around, fool around, if that's what you're interested in doing. It sounds like, like you want to explore your sexuality with women, which is fine, do that through sex. But like, if you want to explore dating with women, don't lead women on. Like. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So basically, yeah, thank you so much for like writing in. And I'm so glad that you like escaped the left tube and all that. But um, I kind of... I don't really understand as in like you recently you know you're you you're kind of like trying t so you I, I suppose you're being seen as too feminine of a guy uh, is that true or is that just coming from you though like has anyone actually said that you're too feminine or said that they thought you were gay also like what does that even mean like i mean there's basically that the, there is definitely um I, th I think you will find a lot of people there aren't that many people that are really into like the, the stereotypically masculine dude as such. Yeah, I like, find myself attracted to men all the time only to find out they're gay. And so like to, <laughs> to have that feeling and be like, oh my god, you're not? Yes! Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people are into more feminine men and like femininity in general, which I think is like, yeah, fine. And you'll yeah. definitely find people who are into that sensitivity if it's not combined with misogyny yeah. and a mistrust of women. Yeah. Which you recognise you need to work on, which is really good. Yeah. And watching our show is a great, great step. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I know, I just, I kind of like, but a little bit as like, um, I'm trying to, to explore my sexuality with, uh, with like the, the, the ladies as such but for them I'm like too feminine and then I've led them on and like I don't really Yeah you're kind of really you say both things both you're too feminine and therefore you're not successful but also you've led them on and therefore you were successful but didn't like it Yeah Like is it that you just want to sleep with a bunch of women because that's there are ways of doing that for sure and there are ways of doing that and not being an asshole about it like you can be into hook up and not be an asshole yeah. and we've given advice on how to do that before Yeah but I have had people um fuck it you know like Okay. <laughs> this is the one more safe space where I can talk about this actually. I don't know, like led me on that they are gay for me to feel safe around them, that they're not gonna objectify me. I felt safe, safe, safe around them to do that, only for them to then one day be like, I'm actually bi and then actually I'm really into you. Yes. Sorry, yes, do not like, end up using I your. Totally <laughs> this, but like, this is how it went. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yes, do not use your like femininity, therefore, or like red, red as safety 
in order to get close to women. Like, I mean, obviously the main thing is of like, be open about what you want. Be like, hey, I'm actually just like, I haven't really dated that many women and I'm really interested in like, hooking up, I think you're super cute, fine. Don't say like, I think it's super meaningful to go somewhere, sleep with her once and then leave her. Like, just yeah. be open about what you expect. Cause like, I've had one night stands where I've said from the off offset, I just kind of want to hook up tonight, are you down? And it's been great. And I've had one I've night stands. that. Yeah, I did that, you know, recently-ish. Like, yeah, no, that's really yeah. cool. And I've also had one night stands. No, I haven't had one night stands, but I know people who've had one night stands where they expected something more and the next day it was, they were left feeling like shit because the person didn't say to them explicitly that all it was going to be was a one night thing. So it's like, if you don't want to lead women on, don't lead women on. And, <laughs> and like, if the girl is not interested, once you've said you're only interested in one night stand, then don't sleep with her. Like, there will be women that are interested in doing that. It is not okay to sleep with a woman under false pretenses and yeah. then ghost. Like, yeah, it's a bit of a soft boy material here. No, look, maybe, okay, look, maybe maybe we're not being generous. Let's do this again. Because mm -hmm. um, he's recognizing his bad tendencies. Obviously, I've got issues. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, great, great but uh, how can I explore my sexuality and build my confidence up without being such a waste man? Like he's aware of the fact that he's yes, being problematic, which is sure. really cool. Yes, yes. Like on I'm sorry, I'm purely projecting here. I'm really, really sorry. I probably you're probably better than the people I had to deal with, and so I feel really bad. But like unlearning sexism is really fucking hard. We are in the process yes, of it, and we're women, for like, and we're like lefty feminist women, and we are still unlearning sexism, hundred like, <laughs> percent, constantly. <laughs> So like and misogyny and, yeah and misogyny stuff, and yeah. everything and homophobia like it's all stuff that we were socialized into and we are 100%. putting active efforts into unlearning but you do not unlearn sexism through sleeping with older women and leading them on yeah you unlearn sexism through learning to be one learning to be a good communicator which involves saying what you expect from the relationship or yeah. hook up or whatever yeah. saying what or you're friendship. into what you're not into like yeah saying when things aren't okay with you recognizing listening and sensing when things are not okay with them sensing and like asking about what they expect from a situation understanding the historical plight that women had to go through for us to be able to film yeah. a show like this. i mean we talked like five minutes ago in a previous question about how there is this whole like when a woman has a one night stand she's left feeling like a slut he's left Holds. feeling like a, a player recognize that and don't just hear it know it and act differently even if all you want is a one night stand do not do not be shit to her the morning after oh my god like, this is fascinating because like you i i i wait wait i'm getting a towel basically with what i'm doing no but yeah i'll okay, find it anyways so um i thought that that was like a stereo like that sort of like violent created thing that whole thing about like men can get out of like a one night stand without feeling anything and then we spoke to quite a few of our leftist radical leftist friends and they go like yeah it's just like a score thing and like and they're amazing feminists every day they really are but it's just like they talk with their friends and it's just like the way that it's internalized is really is still that but that's the thing like unlearning sexism it also means uninternalizing toxic masculinity like the fact that men often feel nothing after one night stand that's not them being like superior that's actually a, a worrying thing that they have had this like that yes yeah, sex can just be fun and play and sure but like the fact that they have had this connection with someone and feel nothing that's not a thing that women want to strive to be more like women no. don't want to become detached exactly. from sexual situations unless they want them to and blah 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 it's fine but like yeah like learning to recognize like sexual intimacy as a form of intimacy when it seems like that's where the situation is going if it's like we're well, made out let's go have sex cool fine but if it's like a date and that person is clearly into you and then you go home and have sex with them recognizing that as an actual experience that they have like privileged you with totally. like they have privileged you with being allowed to be involved in that intimate totally. situation with them and treating them right afterwards and that doesn't mean you have to date every girl no. you hook up with but just be nice just be nice ask oh them if they want breakfast God. like you know say you had a really good time if they say can we meet up again be like oh you know actually like i was really interested in the one time thing i hope i made totally. that clear from the start but i really like you and i wish you the best like you can have a one night stand without making the other person feel like shit totally jesus guys and do not say you want to see someone again if you don't Oh I god, like, yeah, it's just like, yeah, yeah, I know, I just, I so, so feel what you just said right now, because like, basically, how it is in the mainstream, for women, and I swear, it really, it kind of is just for us, it's like, they like, hook spaghetti all over your, your ears, that's a, maybe a Lithuanian expression, yeah, I love but it, what does that mean? It's just like, it's like, uh, I don't know, leading you on, okay. or whatever, they hook spaghetti over your ears, yeah. I love that, <laughs> um, only to the point where like you get to to, mm. to to the thing right and although that could have been like month like months and weeks of conversation yeah. all of that stuff and then they'll be like are you okay yeah i'm fine 
I just really need a coffee. There's a coffee shop around the corner. <laughs> Yeah. And it's just like, you're being a bad guy. And you could just not do that. If you said at any stage in the Tinder conversations or whatever, that like, hey, it'd like, be called cool to hook yeah, up. Yeah, How do you yeah, feel about yeah, that? Yeah. And you say, but, and, but yeah, you can, like, there is no dichotomy between the only way you'll get laid is if you make a woman think she's going to have a relationship. Like, we're not all in the 19th century now. Like, some women want to have casual sex. Me. Okay, so let's address this. And I'm so sorry if this is, like, outside of your question, but, like, fuck it. Like, I can... I'm so sick of, again, even in this conversation, like one in stands, like the fact that we are having to feel guilty over a certain desire because we then fall um, below a certain expectation of what a feminist needs to be. But basically, yeah, every now and then, yeah, you do just want to like... You just want to fuck. Just want to fuck. You a... <laughs> also, I'm not going to go graphic that, but you do just want to do certain things that are not like necessarily pleasing you yourself. And it's just like, it's sexy for you, but the way that in the patriarchal society it gets perceived is just that, like, you are there to then be there for that man and please but him. Like, but, like, for sucks. example, one of the main feminist arguments is that, like, you know, men should go down on women more, right? Like, yeah. And they don't. <laughs> but, like, I get off on, like, going down on a dude. I get off on giving blowjobs because I like, if I like the person, I like seeing them crumble beneath my might. Like, I like that. And and I feel like a lot of men, once they've actually gone down to women and are so fucking scared of it, like they like that too. It's like an amazing power to hold over someone. But the fact is, if a woman goes down on a man, like this is all very like uh, cis-centric, I guess, but like whatever, like in general, in mainstream society, she's given him something. She's taken away oh from her God. own worth and That's he has so gained it. in his worth. Absolutely. And it's this weird transactional thing where she's lost something and he's gained something. And that's like... Not true for us, but the way in which it's read and the way in which it's portrayed and the way in which that dude may well go and talk to his friends about it is, I got this girl to do this degrading thing. Don't! Oh, but yeah. it's like, oh God. Like, I am still having to learn that people want to go down on me. Like, actually want to. Mm. Though I really desire to do that for the opposite sex as such. But I worry that they will see it as you know, as, as, as like me being degraded. Mm. It's like basically because I've been so socialized for seeing that like someone going down, like basically me going down on someone is degrading that I, I cannot help but like apologize when someone does that to me. And yeah. That's bullshit. Or the other problem is that if someone goes down on me, I therefore assume that they expect something else. True. That they then, like yeah. I went down on you, get down there girl, you yeah. know? And it's like, yeah, again, it becomes transactional. Like the second... I mean, in a non-sex work sense, the second like uh, sexual encounter becomes transactional, it's not really a consensual sexual encounter because you're doing something because you feel like you ought to. Yeah. Whereas, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do you, have you gone down on women? Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy making them come? If not, why not? Do you get off on them coming down, going down on you? Why? Like, because you know, we're like, like, I'm into BDSM. I'm into. I'm into the idea of like being degraded in a consensual scenario. I'm not into the idea of that guy going and telling his friends, I got her to do this. Also, it's so, again, it's so not about gender necessarily. And that's something that we talked about a little bit in the past. It's just like, who the fuck do you find hot? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> just like, there's so many women that would be privileged to touch. Yeah. And yet, all these dudes that are not on my top at all attempt at me because they know I'm fairly straight as yeah. such. Ugh. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. But like, yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry that we definitely like went into our own whatever experiences in this question, but like, I don't know, you haven't presented us. Basically, you know you have issues, and we're telling you a bit more as to... And the main about. thing is like, yeah, if you're leading people on, that's on you. There yeah. is there is no Stop way that. in which oh, that's that, definitely raining like, now. Yeah, it is. That does not have to happen, and there are ways on like ways of explaining what you want to do. If you want to be a feminist, if you're aware that you have unhealthy behaviours, learn to communicate. Like, and that doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be like I would like to have sex with you. Would you like to have sex with me too? It can be like, hey girl, do you want to go back to mine? I mean, like you know, like I. Do you think we've clicked? But again, like, but like you know, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like really like to get down on you, but like also, you know, I have work in the morning. I have that <laughs> done to me by people that I've never flirted with. So yeah, that's also don't weird. do that. But like, yeah, we have videos about reading signals. We have videos about how to hook up, how to not be a creep. We, I mean, you've watched our channel, so you know We're that. We're victims of our own success at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, and also um, send us in another question if you have like more uh, precise advice you want. Yeah. Because like, it sounds like you know where you're going wrong. 
and it sounds like you don't quite know where you're going right and the ways in which to go right we have kind of previously explored a little bit but also um <laughs> sorry but also have, careful it's um on the edge of the pool can you push that down a little bit yeah but yeah um maybe we came across a little hard on you and i don't want that like i don't want you to feel like you can't talk to us because we are hardline about these things, but we are hardline about men fucking over women for a good reason. And it sounds like you recognise that that is a good thing. And that's why you decided to speak to us, even though you thought you might get roasted. But like I said, like, it's so fucking cool that you were down the Jordan Peterson alley and recognised that that was not cool and came to us instead. Like, amazing. And yeah, send, send us, if you want more info on something more specific, like, check out our other videos if you haven't already. And also, yeah, write in again. I yeah. Think. yeah, yeah, for sure.